Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Bucket. Uh, I got a couple videos coming out this month. At least two or three, well, there'll be three or four probably. I still have the memorial knife I gotta get wrapped up this year, or this month. But um, I've got this knife and as well as my first production knife video coming out, so hopefully you guys uh, see both of those. But this video is just a real short one because what I wanted to do is I want to show you something interesting. Um, a while back I was given a bunch of pieces of wood, different sizes, lengths, and species and everything. So I've been learning a little bit about wood, what I can stabilize and what I can't stabilize. And then as you know, if you followed some of my, whew, excuse me, if you followed some of my uh, um, YouTube or um, uh, Facebook posts, uh, pictures of things such as my Turntex stabilizing unit from Curtis down in Texas. And now recently I just added a stabilizing or a pressure chamber, which is right over there. It's that little pressure pot right there. And that's to help me stabilize this next piece of wood. Palm. Yes, I have a bunch of palm. And what's neat about some of this palm is, you can see it here, they're like quills or feathers and almost like eyes, like a uh, bird's eye maple. It was really neat. So I've got a bunch, and I figured, what the heck, I'll try it. So I stabilized it with some um, some burled maples and such. And the pressure pot helped a lot. So this is what it looked like after it was treated. Hmm, sorry, guys, I've just been playing catch-up with sleep. We've, we've had a lot of issues coming around the house lately and such and helping out folks. So I'm way behind schedule as well as sleep, for that matter. So anyhow, this is the palm. Uh, after it's been stabilized. Now this palm, I sanded down to 400 grit and I rubbed down with a little Watco Danish oil just to kind of clean it up. But I wanted to show you, I, maybe not all of you are going to like this, which is fine, but this is why I got it. And when my little guy saw this, it became his new favorite wood. He's got a knife he's slowly working on, but uh, um, he's got spalted maple with black liners. He likes this stuff a lot better now. I said, ah, too late. You got to finish your first knife or at least his second knife, and then you're gonna have to work on your third knife. But I can see where he likes this a lot because this is it. I mean, this palm here's this is unfinished. This is just the palm itself, raw, sanded down to 400. And then that's got the oil on it, that Watco Danish oil. This was done about an hour ago. So it doesn't bleed away or anything like that. It's gonna be on there now, but look at that. That's just so cool. So I only did a couple of these just to try it out, but I've got more. I've got some in the oven right over here right now. What I do is I take wood, and because I don't have a big drying oven or a kiln or anything like that, and, and my shop's pretty dry. Even though we're out here in western Washington, and uh, it's raining like crazy right now, and it's pretty chilly in the shop, um, it's not that bad. So I could, for the most part, take most of my wood, throw it right in the stabilizing unit. Hmm, excuse me, I am so sorry, guys. Throw it in the stabilizing unit and just call it good. But I like to throw it in the little toaster oven for a while. And I'll run it in there. It's been in there for about an hour and a half now. I'll, I'll run it till tonight. Then I'll take it out and I'll throw it inside my stabilizing chamber. And I'll, co I'll close it and then let it sit there overnight. And then tomorrow morning I'll pour the, uh, um, the resin inside there to cactus juice. And we'll draw a vacuum and it'll sit in there all day. It'll sit in there for 24 hours. And then after that's done, I'll take it out and I'll put it in a pot right, right there above my thumb. I'll put it in a pot. And it'll sit in the pot for at least another 24 hours. But I'm doing uh, cherry and quilted maple and burled maple and more palm. This is beautiful. The palm, without being stabilized, you can you can leave marks with your fingernails. I'm, I'm gouging into it. You can see those little lines right there. Okay, all those little lines right there. Okay, it's kind of a it's kind of a hard-ish wood. But yeah, you can still gouge your nail. Super light. This piece here weighed 1.7 ounces. This here, 1.7 ounces. Stabilized, it's over five ounces. This was, um, I forget which one. This one was like five, and this was 5.4 or something like that until I sanded it down. But um, yeah, I mean, that's that's awesome. So it added a lot of weight, which I liked because it helps with that that feel of the of the knife. But I wanted to show you guys this. I, I was really stoked, and that's why I wanted to share this video because I have never seen anybody put palm on knives. And what I'm thinking of is still, it's still in the works. I got the paper up there. I got to buy the steel, but the steel is kind of expensive uh, because I get all my stuff from Jantz. I find the best prices at Jantz, 
and they're phenomenal people. They've got great customer service. I've talked to the gals in the past when they're helping me buy this uh, uh, Even Heat. I mean, it was stellar. They beat everybody's price. They got it shipped here super quick, and I get all my steel from them and everything else, and my pins, my liners, all that. I really like their stuff, uh, but uh, really good people overall. They're out in Oklahoma. But anyhow, um, I got in here. Anyway, I figured I'd share this with you, but the steel for the kukri, uh, the kukri is what I'm making. The steel for the kukri is going to be around 200 bucks. But I was thinking about doing palm for the scales and do a mix like palm and mahogany or something. So we'll see palm or and coco bolo. So we'll we'll check it out and see. I don't do bolsters yet. I've got my uh, got a grinder back here someplace. I just got my uh, my variable speed gr eight inch grinder set up. I got a, a base welded. Thank you to the my buddy over at the vertical welder who hooked me up with one of his old stands so I didn't have to do a lot of uh, chopping and welding here in my shop. But now I've got to uh, get the uh, polishing wheels. I've got to get some uh, uh, polishing wheels and compounds so I can start doing those kind of things. But uh, anyhow, the palm, I am stoked. Hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully it piques somebody's interest and maybe you want to see your knife done in palm. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry I'm babbling. It's getting late. I'm getting tired and I want to go to bed soon. So I think I'm going to go in and warm up for a cup of coffee. And see you guys later. Thanks for stopping.